Let's take a look at our Magic Sheet pop-up menu. What's really convenient is there's a little pop-up on every monitor, and that allows us to get this temporary Magic Sheet over top of wherever else we're working. So this is great for things that you need access to quickly and regularly, uh, like configuration or things like that. The window that pops up happens to be 800 by 450 pixels, so you'll want to build something that fits nicely into that area. And I'll show you a quick trick. So the first thing we want to do is come down to our Magic Sheet browser, and we want to add a new Magic Sheet. And immediately we get into our editor. I'm going to insert a square object, and I want my target to be nothing. I'm going to use this as a border so I can build my Magic Sheet inside of it. So I'm going to make my fill be nothing. And at the very bottom of your properties editor, you can pick how big this object actually is. So I'm going to type in my 800 by 450. And that will give me a border to constrain my menu inside of. I'm just going to put in a couple of quick objects. Previously, we built two macros that turned the remotes on and off, macros 4 and 5. So I'm going to drop in a square, make it a little bit bigger. And I want this to be macro 4. I want to change that field to just say label. And what you'll see when we close that macro editor is that it shows that our macro is called RFR enable. Open the editor again. I actually want this to be green because we're enabling it. And then I'm going to control C and control V that object. I want to make sure that that's macro five and I'm going to make it red, which will disable my remote. So that is a nice little utility that you can get to anywhere in the software. I'm also going to drop in a fader. I'll shrink that down just a little bit. And once again, we're going to make this fader 1 slash 3, which is our front of house in Hib. And I'm going to make that red, just like in my other magic sheet. So I can build up whatever utilities I want to show up anywhere I am in the software. And the first time I click on my pop-up magic sheet, it just gives me the ribbon, and it allows me to pick whichever magic sheet I want to be my pop-up. So now anywhere I go, I can click on my pop-up magic sheet and it'll give me those utilities for me to interact with. If I want to change which magic sheet is defined as my pop-up magic sheet, I can do that in setup. So I'm going to go displays, setup. To change that setting, we'll want to look in users and displays. And you can see that I have a pop-up magic sheet tile where I can define which magic sheet I want in my pop-up. You also have a tile in here that's called pop-up nav lock, and that's going to lock the navigation of your magic sheet, just like if you were to lock a standard tabbed magic sheet. By default, this is enabled. Let's go back out into live.